Hello and welcome to the Law of Conservation of Matter, where I shall talk to you the basic structure of how things cannot be created nor destroyed. You see, I will be explaining to you all that there is to know about this simple law created by Antonine Lavaster. Before Antonine Lavaster, everyone thought that eventually, if you vaporize something or blow it up, it'll be blown up and it's gone. But, you see, Antonine Lavaster proved that even though an explosion has happened and it's been scattered, it still is there. The rubble is still there. Let's take, for example, the weather cycle. Even though it may look like the water completely disappears, it is still there, existent in the air or as a cloud. Then, as the cloud empties out, it rains, and then the water goes back through the cycle and again and again. Perhaps you are wondering, then why is this happened in a movie where the laser beam hits the man and the man goes and it's gone? But you see, that's a movie. You see, if we, let's say, went into movie land and took away this great crucial law, just to show you how important this law is, why don't we you say we go there actually right now? Ready? Okay, since we are entering movie land, nothing has to make sense. So let's just say I have these magic glasses. When I w put them on, the law of conservation of matter goes out of effect. So, get ready for the time of your life. Three, two, one, action. That was a close one. <sighs> Next, we talk about chemical and physical changes. Okay, I'm gonna try this experiment on my dad. He doesn't know what's happening. He's just working by his grill and stuff. But trust me, this is gonna be epic. This is gonna be an epic experience. Hold on. Hey, Dad? Dad? What you doing? Hold on, I, I just want you to try something, okay? What you, what do you need me for, bud? Here, follow me, just come on. It's gonna be fun. What, what are you doing? What do you Please, want me? Please, Dad, just questions later. Go Here, follow me, follow me. All right. Okay. What just do you want me to do? Stand, like, right there. That's perfect, okay. Move right here? That way. Okay. Good. What, what next? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. Gabe, come on. I'm, I'm, I, I gotta get things going. Come on. Come on, just stay there for a bit. Oh, okay. My dad, that was a physical change. You see, when my dad was hit under that... <laughs> running, run. When my dad was hit under that rock, he wasn't, like, you know, completely gone. And, of course, by the way, nor was he changed in any way. His matter is still held the same, it's just in a different form. Crush problem. Anyway, that's all. Okay, so the next thing experiment I'm gonna do is gonna show a perfect example of chemical change. Um, now, my dad sort of got a bit injured in the last thing, I had to go intensive care and all that, but that's nothing to worry about now. A bit sadly, you know, he's confined to his chair. It's sort of sad, but don't worry. It means that even though he's confined to his chair, it's going to be very precise. Anyway, okay, I'm going to go up to him. He's not going to know a clue about this one. Hey, Dad. How are you today? Hey, Dad, how are you today? Do you mind if I film you? Okay, I'm just gonna. Uh, okay, just don't try to move. Want another boulder? <laughs> I don't want another boulder, please. It's not gonna be another boulder. <laughs> okay, that was epic. Anyway, that was unlike the other uh, boulder thing. That was a chemical reaction. Get very molecules were changed. His atomical structure. He was now turned from normal skin and flesh. No matter how ripped it is, it can never be like ash and 
dust. That's it. 